Hello everyone and welcome to episode one of the Ask Stefan Show where I answer your questions about real estate marketing, online marketing, websites, lead generation and conversion, just everything modern real estate and technology. Let's dive right in about me real fast, this being episode one. My name is Stefan Winter, a licensed real estate agent in Las Vegas, Columbus and Chicago. We're in Columbus right now setting up a team out here and um, really been focused on technology ever since I got into real estate in 2009. Literally had the first uh, agent app in Las Vegas in 2009. I jumped in on Facebook advertising in 2013 and it was really impressive what you could do in 2013 to 2015. 16 and especially 17 every agent started jumping into it and it's just way oversaturated now to uh, be super effective but we've moved back to google ads which now have become more effective again and right now i am focused for 2018 on amazon alexa and google voice um, very little personal competition there right now there's no individual agents on there even big companies are still scrambling to get those skills developed so always pushing the envelope on the latest, but I want to answer your questions. So if you ask me questions about real estate technology and marketing, I will with the hashtag AskStefan on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. I'll be sure to answer them on this channel. We have a few questions today from uh, agents I work with. So let's get jump into the first question on the first show. And just uh, to put it out there, I don't like being on camera. This is the year of my personal brand and they say by just doing it and uploading it, you get better. So we'll see what happens. But um, this is kind of uh, new for me being on camera. But the first question comes from Joe um, and he asks, single property website for your own listings, yay or nay? So single property websites, I think they had their place a couple years back. Um, when websites still had a cool factor and people would type them in. Nowadays, if you look at your analytics, pretty much anybody going to your website, your app or anywhere online is probably coming from a click instead of typing it in, meaning they clicked on a link in an email and an ad in a post somewhere online, they clicked on something and they ended on your website. So it's very hard to get someone to actually type in a link in property websites, especially now that they've been around for years. Most likely they're going to be 123 Main Street, XYZ City, possibly a state, possibly a zip code.com. You're never going to get people to put all that in and go to a website. Um, those were obviously ways to capture buyer leads back then. What we do now is we have a text this short code to this 44455 number um, on our sites instead of flyers. And that has a couple benefits. One, based on the GPS location on their phone, they're gonna get the closest listing uh, texted directly to them with the price, all the information, and that's all coming off your website. Second bonus on that is that you get an accurate phone number because I had to text from their cell phone. So you can text message them back, you can do video text messages, the follow up just becomes a lot easier and um, it's easier on them for just text that four or five letter code to a short phone number, uh, makes it easier on everyone and easier to follow up and get accurate people into your database. So that is uh, short to recap that individual property websites i say no um, worked a couple years back now there's better options and you'll probably get very low um, people putting it actually in our next question comes from uh, Lori out of my dublin ohio office and she asks can uh, i be her new best friend because of all my online marketing knowledge uh, i can't be your best friend Lori but I will be a good friend and I'm sure I'll be at the office uh, talking about technology sometime in the near future here. Last question for the day is also gonna come from Lori and she wants to know uh, best utilize Facebook advertising thoughts. So Facebook advertising, like I kind of mentioned in the intro, 2013 to 2015, very effective because there was very little competition. Now, especially since 2017, every agent is running a 
what's my home value or find your instant home value ad on Facebook. So you have to do something to stand out if you're gonna get any kind of return. Uh, my recommendation for Facebook ads if you're starting out, unless you have a good website and a good follow-up system, don't bother with clicks to, to a website or to a lead capture. Stick to Facebook lead ads where it just pops up a form. Your big advantage there is you're more guaranteed to get accurate information because it just um, it pre-fills their email and name from their profile, so uh, it's it's more guaranteed to be an accurate email instead of a fake one. But um, with them just popping up the form, you know they're also not going to judge you based on your website. If you're using your broker's website where the same agent is or a hundred thousand, hundred and eighty thousand different agents all have the same website. Um, that way that won't count against you and you can just show via follow up and reaching out to them um, that you are a good agent to work with. Uh, if you do have something to differentiate yourself from um, everyone else, then Facebook ad is definitely still a great way to reach the end consumer bypassing everyone. An example of that would be, say you invested a thousand dollars into buying a drone. Um, now you can use offer drone photography on every single listing that you take. It's uh, kind of common nowadays to have drone photography for the 800,000 and plus uh, range of listings, but the 200 to 600,000 dollar range that still has kind of a cool factor. So you can really capture that market. They'd go with you because they are getting something that they wouldn't have expected. The extreme version of that would be to go and buy a Matterport camera and then offer uh, real, real virtual reality tours, not the zoom in picture kind, but 360 uh, headset virtual reality tours uh, on every listing. And that's really something still kind of special. Interestingly enough, the new Matterport camera would actually save you on a photographer because the 360 scan is good enough to just pull pictures um, off it. So that would be kind of the extreme version, offer people something that they don't expect in their price range, will really help you to get clicks, accurate information on Facebook. That is kind of it for episode number one. I think I'm gonna answer two or three questions a day um, and try to get better at this video thing, the editing as well as the uh, presence on here. I know this is probably not the best episode, but let's see what happens by episode 10 if it's any better. Again, my name is Stefan Winter, and if you have questions on real estate marketing and want them answered completely free from somebody actually doing it that's been written about in Inman and has been out there and experienced all of that, go ahead and uh, ask with the has hashtag AskStefan on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And I will see you guys tomorrow in episode two.